Megiddo, one of the major crossroads of the ancient world, is where our guide Ruvain and I visited today. This is probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest, tell in the world. Tells occur here. What is a tell? It's a walled city that's been destroyed many times and rebuilt. The reason for that is because we live in a desert. So water sources are very rare. So wherever they built the city, they had to have a water source. In Egypt and Babylon, they could just move down a canal and rebuild the city. But here, there are so few water sources. So where we have 25 levels where the city was built and destroyed, we're looking at its finest level, the time of Ahab, 2,800 years ago. Ahab was king of the northern kingdom. It was a world power and a world player at the time. But it's an incredible production to know that we can go down layer by layer and see each civilization. Let's go around and go to the site. The sense of the wealth of this city, that they had massive gates to protect it, these are a thousand years before Solomon. What an amazing city this was then. This in Hasur were the great powers of the city-states of Canaan. Let's go up just a bit more and we'll see the gates of King Solomon. These are the gates of King Solomon of the great chariot city of Israel from the year 3,000 years ago or 960 before the Common Era. And this was the great fortification to protect the north of Israel and the Sharon. Let's go on and see the rest of the town. This is where they cut a slice out of the mountain, like a slice of pie, and they went down and saw all 25 levels. What we're looking at is 5,000 years ago, and up at top we're looking at 2,800 years. So these are 25 different cities that were destroyed and rebuilt on top of each other because they're over the only water source in this area. Shalom, look at these steps. This is a grain silo from almost 3,000 years. One set of steps went down, one set of steps went up. This supplied this community and all the communities in the area with grain in times of crisis. And how we know it's a grain silo is when they dug it up, they found grain in all the cracks. It used to be roofed to protect it from the elements. But it's an amazing sense of how the state 3,000 years ago took care of the people. This is one of the great engineering wonders of 2,800 years ago. To make this tell, this mountain, this chariot fortress impregnable in time of siege, they had to have water. And the only water is outside the town. So they covered up the water source so nobody could find it. And they cut through this mountain down to the level of the water source. They cut through bedrock from here down to the water level. And then they cut a tunnel to the source of the water more than a football field of length, almost a football field down through solid rock so they could bring water up in times of siege. This is the reason that Megiddo is so incredible. It controls the route of the Jezreel Valley. That's Mount Tavor at the other end of the Jezreel. Anybody coming from Babylon to Egypt, 
or Egypt to Babylon pretty much had to pass through this valley. And you could see people coming for 50 miles.